Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello. Hello, everybody. Oops. Hello, everybody. <laughs> he gave us a little <laughs> more time with the song. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that theme, I like it. We're proud of the house we built. And so we're proud of the, of the, uh, the company we built. That's kind of like our house, our family. And we want to talk to you a little bit about your house today and how you can make it better. The subject we thought we'd talk about today, along with taking your calls live at 737-1200, the subject being AC and remodeling situations. Mm -hmm. Air conditioning. Now, of course, air conditioning is many things. It's, it's especially heat and cold. And so we want that cold air for the majority of the year, but even if now your home is not needing it as much, you need to realize that when you're planning your remodeling project, first of all, it might be in the summer when we're doing it, or it might be right at before the summer. And it's a great time to catch your all of your remodeling uh, air conditioning needs at the time of the remodeling. So we're gonna talk about the different ways that you can address your remodeling, your AC in the remodeling. And a lot of it will be surprising to you and it's, um, it's something that you want to think about if you're doing any remodeling project. It's also one of the fringe benefits that you could consider a peripheral project that you could take care of while you're doing remodeling and, uh, and get, get more bang for the buck while you're in your remodeling project. We talk a lot about projects that can be added and we just want to mention, you know, that's the reason we, we mentioned financing because usually the cost of financing is a fraction, and I mean literally a fraction of the cost of getting your other items taken care of at the same time if you compare the savings that doing it at the same time results in. Um, so we talk about that and that's why a lot of our clients elect to do a little bit more work at the same time. Mm -hmm. Do we have a remodeling tip this week, safe tip? I do. It's um, our project manager team, along with having a schedule that we update every day on builder trends so you know exactly how far you are along in the project. We also tell you daily what's happening at your project, who's going to be arriving through a text thread. So even if you're not living at your house, you know what's happening every day on the project, what time they're coming, um, even to the point of we're having to turn off the power for a couple of hours, do you uh, save everything that you need to save or whatever, and that way it just, everyone is notified and there's no questions. Yeah, and even on that turning off the power or the water, mm -hmm. um, we don't say we're turning it off now for a couple of hours, we say we'll be turning it off in a couple of hours. Uh, for a couple of hours. For a couple mm -hmm. of hours, right. And so. so that's one of the concerns that I realize that people have that we forget to take for granted that that they'd be able to work around all that, and mm -hmm. they can with good planning. And of course, if a client said, well, we can't be off at that time because I've got an important meeting, well, we would accommodate that, no problem. Definitely. We would just switch things around and make sure that you were, we want you making money. <laughs> You're gonna pay for your remodeling, so we need you to make money and do whatever you need to do. So we do we do really respect that uh, that what that knowledge means to you. And we didn't start telling clients who's gonna be there just for safety. We did it for convenience and for great communication and for no disruptions and for people to feel very comfortable. But it's turned out to be a real safety feature of our company because now everybody knows who is there. If anyone shows up, like it happened the other day on one of our jobs, somebody actually posing to be one of our employees, um, they knew that wasn't true. And they, they were knew no one was supposed to be there. Yeah, and they knew they knew it they could tell right away because of the, our protocols and that person ended up getting arrested mm -hmm. so we you know we watch your home really closely <clears throat> i'm so glad so good to catch people <laughs> and he was driving a stolen a stolen truck too yep yeah so let's talk a little bit about um, the air conditioning and remodeling i'm going to start off with the simplest solution for air conditioning your new space Normally when we're talking about air conditioning and remodeling, it is because we're adding space. And people want to know, what are my options if I add this room? It could be to the attic, it could be on the first floor, second floor, it could be uh, basement, it could be any, any type of room addition, closing a patio and closing a garage, which we do all of those. 
how do I, you know, what's, what's it going to be required to do the air conditioning? So the simplest thing that we can do, in many cases, this is what we do. We simply connect to the existing duct lines and add the ducts, additional ducts that go into the room. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you have an air, if you have, and most people do, they have a central air conditioning system. And so we're enclosing a garage or a patio, making it an office. And we get up into the attic, or in some cases, we have to get into the floor, the floor system between the first and second floor, and we find out where we can branch off of that. And there's good places to do that and bad places to do that. And you have to know AC systems to know where you can do that. But in many cases, we're just able to tap into that existing system, run more ducking, ducting to that to that area, and it runs and it looks just like your existing registers that you see in your ceilings. That's and, good. And it works just like that. Mm -hmm. And so some of the concerns that people have are, well, will, will it actually accommodate that? And in, and in most cases, it, it will. We ask them a couple of questions about how their, how their air conditioning is, is currently serving them. And you, know, you can also look at the capacity of the, of the unit. But sometimes the capacity of the unit is, is not as exact as you might think. Uh, what it's built for and what it will handle may be two different things because er every home could be insulated completely different than, mm. than the one. And it could be getting a lot of sun exposure or very little. It could have a lot of trees. There's a lot of factors that affect whether an air conditioner can handle the extra space that you're about to put on it. So one of the questions we ask, and by the way, you know, I owned an air conditioning company for years. And so we, we've learned some things in this business. And I've always looked at it a little different than a lot of my contemporaries have in the air conditioning business. One of the things I ask them is if, okay, let me ask you in your home, do you ever get to the point where one is, is too cold and the other one is hot? And, and you have a difference in the way the two people, two people feel in the house. The majority of the time their answer is yes. And typically it's the smaller person that is colder and the larger person that is, that is uh, hot. And so what we, we know about that is most people really are comfortable at similar temperatures if the humidity is lower. People's comfort level, the range of comfort for a lower humidity type of environment is much larger than it is on a humid environment. People have a small window of comfort whenever it's a humid home, or even if it's humid outdoors. We have a smaller window of comfort, and whenever it's really dry outside, we feel comfortable even 10 degrees hotter than normal, I mean, than what we normally think of. In San Antonio, we experience that from time to time. So what we look at is, that is a sign that it's likely turning off too soon. It's cycling, it's getting the temperature down, but it's not removing enough humidity. So simply adding some ducts to a larger room will actually improve the performance, not only of that and cool that room down or heat that room, it will actually improve the performance of the air conditioning system because it will run a little longer and it will remove more humidity and interrupt by a degree or two and still feel exactly as comfortable. In fact, more people feeling comfortable because now it's in a better zone and the humidity is actually going down. So that is a, is a little trick that we use many times when we hear that, after that survey, we hear those answers, and we can do that for you at a much, much more reasonable cost than some of the other solutions. We'll talk about some of these other solutions um, that you can have when you're remodeling and how to solve your air conditioning needs. Right now, I wanna mention my friend Leroy at R2 Motorsports. He is the high performance man in automotive and he's at 210-354-7004 or look him up at r2motorsports.com he can help you with your toy like he's done with mine and again that's r2motorsports.com and we'll be right back to the K and Builder Remodeling and Design Show. Direct flow heating and air says the system is oversized. What's that? Direct flow heating and air says the system is oversized. 
Yeah. <laughs> what I was saying right yeah I, maybe I didn't say that. maybe he didn't um, maybe he, he said it before. oh before yeah mm -hmm. or there is a delay I forget <laughs> shows you that professionals listen to us huh uh-huh that's cool right oh look we got a call what's that guy's name that was on there. It just says direct flow. How do you talk to him? TV? Can you hear me? No. Your mic's off. Can you hear me? Foundation question. Oh. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you. And so, is there a way I can talk to you by pressing TV? Uh, you change it. You have to do this one now. That one, that green one here. Uh. Just push it. Yeah, just hold it down. Okay, cool. And then you'll be able to talk to me. Will you be able to talk to me? Yeah, I can talk to you. That <laughs> <laughs> just sounded funny. Pretty good. <laughs> Could you hear him? Oh, no, because I didn't have it on. So next week we don't have a game. I got your music. If your air conditioner is doing something it's not supposed you, to be doing. You got mad at me for saying I stuff. Said favorite guy. Oh, I'm like, you, you can't right start words. it. You don't use the right word. <laughs> Okay, did you hear me? There's no My favorite game. diamond commercial, too. There's no game next week. I mean, no um, show. There's a game at 11. It's Baylor. There's a big game. And I had a Appointment scheduled for after the show for next week. Huh. We'll go over here. Yeah. Oh, and I was gonna say maybe you should go say it. Gross. So November 13th or November 20th. Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. We're glad to be with you this Saturday, and we're, Texas didn't play today, so we get a show. It's been a while, it's it feels while, like, right? Yeah. And uh, it's great that, that we are, that you're listening, and that we're back on the air, and we, it's great that we have a phone call to ask questions, and you can call in at 737 to ask any remodeling question you would like, or building, construction, we do both. So let's go ahead and take uh, Worthy, if you're still there. We'd love to talk to you, Worthy. Nation from me, I appreciate your time. Uh, I've got really two questions, but in a matter of time here, let me ask you the one first that is most pressing on me. I've got a house that's 10 years old, and we had it built. It was built on an almost solid rock, and we had the extra that had the rock blown out of there. Uh, about a year and a half ago, of course, right after my warranty, and your warranty was no good, uh, noticed some, I noticed some hairline cracks and some tile, and, and was told that that was just settling to be expected. 
about a year ago, started noticing I've got some cracks in a master bedroom wall. They were real small, but over the year now, they've kind of expanded out. I, I don't have any sticking doors or any sticking windows. Uh, so I found a couple of places in the house where I have hairline cracks in some of the floor tiles. So I want to bring out some people to look at it, but I'm, I'm a little uh, wary of because I've dealt with some of these folks before, the foundation guys that are more salesmen. So I want some expert advice from you. Uh, the best way approach to looking at this, obviously, we have, we're having some kind of a foundation issue. I hope it's something minor, but what do you think? Yeah, that's, it, it could be something that's, you know, developed, and there's a couple of reasons why things can change. One of them is water, and uh, you definitely want to probably take a look at that by a professional, because if there's water, there is, you know, then that's, that can be a game changer, and you want to take care of that as quickly as possible. And, um, and so once you rule that out, that it's not significant, and I think the best I think the best way to do it is to see if it's significant or not. And so I, I agree with what your approach is. You want to get it checked out, but I also agree with your what you're thinking about. There's people who just want to sell. I have a friend in the biz, in the business, and I want to give you his number. His name is Larry, Larry Villarreal, and he's at 210-418-1658. So that's 210-418-1658. And I know he's. He's, you know, he'll tell you what you need to do, and if it's not a big deal, he's going to tell you, I wouldn't even mess with it. You know, these are normal, and 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 there is a lot of times where that is the absolute truth. There are normal amounts of settling, but there's also, you know, the fact that you don't want to fix something later and then have to do it multiple times. So if there's a need to jack it up a little bit, and it's only in one area, he can he can give you offer to give you that solution as well. You got folks waiting. No, we got time. Go ahead. Yeah, I heard you talking about the air conditioning and uh, which uh, this uh, same house, uh, the air conditioning went out, the unit went out uh, two years ago. I had a four ton unit, 3,000 square foot, uh, single floor, one story. Uh, the air conditioning went out, and so I replaced it and with a very reputable company, or, or certainly appeared to be. Uh, reviews and so forth, and uh, a lot of advertising. Uh, they came out, and the guy said, "Hey, uh, when you're right on the edge of a four ton, is your you know your electric bills and does it run on?" I said, "Yeah, it runs, and electric bills a little high." And he said, "Well, I think you really ought to go with a five ton, three thousand square feet." So I put that in, and uh, uh, I'm having an issue you said about the humidity issue, but another issue I'm having when that thing cranks up. I mean, and all the TVs are off, and there's no noise. It's, it sounds like an aircraft taking off. I mean, it's just, you know, when I walk in the, one of my main rooms, right under where the AC unit sits up in the attic, you, you need to hold on to your hat. Uh, and then I've got another room that's not hardly any air getting any to it at all. And real quick, uh, I had a guy come out. He said when that first was built that they had not done the ducting properly. They had too many ducts running out of one box, and that needed to be totally redone. And uh, I don't know the price tag on it, but I, of course I'm not happy with the initial guys if that, that story in fact is true. But going from a four ton to a five ton uh, certainly cools the house down, but it's cooled down, I think, too quick, and therefore my humidity levels way up. Yeah, I think that's... That is a, an unfortunate situation we see. What I would rather see people do in that situation is go to a zoning of a three ton, and then it cools the areas that need it the most, and then it shuts off and lets the other areas catch up. But uh, you've got a four ton system now, and it's probably you know going to last you. I'm sorry. Yeah, I meant five ton. You've got five ton now, and so so uh, you know you're going to have to. Uh, live with that for a while but i might i might um you know i think you're going to have to to get with to to have some humidity removing uh, elements in there uh, dehumid dehumidifiers is probably your only solution on that one now if you have those other issues with the proper improper ducting that might improve the situation because you're getting more even flow of that air and and I would look up 
Two guys that I would look up are Ike's and Zimmerman. Uh, Zimmerman's located on the mainland, and Ike's is Ike's is another one that I've that we've had some some good solutions and working with. Well, again, listen, I appreciate your time and the advice, and uh, very valuable. Well, yeah, thank you very much for calling, Worthy. We hope it goes well for you, and call anytime if you uh, want to follow up or need some more. Thank All right. you. And so, we, just like that, you can give us a call at 737-1200. As you can tell, air conditioning is, a, is an issue, and it's a great time to take care of it when you're remodeling. Uh, and so we're going to talk a little bit more about some of the solutions. As we said, adding ducts to rooms like like Worthy's situation there, where he's just getting too big of a system, and it might have been right on the edge, so he went ahead and upgraded. A lot of AC companies will tell you that's the solution, and I'm not saying that that's always the wrong solution, but a lot of times getting another room will balance that out perfectly. <laughs> Just so what you're it. saying is he just needs to add on to his that's house. That's right. Worthy needs another room. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe that's the way I should have worded yeah. it. Yeah, just get another room. And then you'll have the right size AC for that's your house. That's right. So if your AC is too big, <laughs> let's make it the right size. Add that a room. That sounds so first world problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true, isn't it? So we, we'd be glad to help you with, um, you know, any type of situation where your air conditioning is not working, we can recommend folks as he called in with a foundation issue also. So those are things that we usually just recommend people for that we know we can trust, they give you good advice and don't try to sell you. They're interested in the reputation and relationships with clients just like we are. And so we talked about adding ducts uh, because it really does work. And so when we come back, we'll talk about the other solutions that we find often in remodeling situations. And before we go, we want to, I want to mention my, one of my sponsors, Frank's, Frank Machaca, Frank's Paint and Body, who's worked on three of my vehicles so far. I mean two, and he's going to work on the third. <laughs> and that's 927-3410. He doesn't really use a website. So you need to contact him through his phone number, and that's 210 927-3410, 927-3410, Frank's Paint and Body Shop, and as always, the sponsors are listed on our website. You can find them easily there. And we'll be right back after the news break to the KM Builder Remodeling and Design Show. This is News Radio 12. Hey Keith, give me, give me the, uh, the number again for uh, the foundation guy. See. It's 210-418-1658. Democrat Sarah McAuliffe is hoping some of his... What was his first name again? Including former... Pro uh, Larry Villarreal. Well, what was it? Uh, Larry, Larry Villarreal. Okay. The race that is a... Thank you. Fox is Mark Meredith. McAuliffe faces Republican Glenn Youngkin, and it started the race ahead in the polls. The direct flow said they like our show. It's nice to... No honest and knowledgeable, pe knowledgeable people still exist. And he said that if the collar upsized to a five ton and didn't modify the ducting, they could have issues. Mm -hmm. But announced that it was cold, meaning it was not supposed to have live ammunition. So far, no the same guy that did the other one. America is listening to Fox News. I was listening to. Another show. Mm -hmm. In the period of time that I was driving to the Alamo, two, two wrong advice for me. Two items. Oh my goodness. You want to call and say, no! <laughs> I tried. Really? Yeah, but it was recorded. Oh. Wow. I was going to do it nicely. <laughs> I was going to say that it might be actually this situation. As another option, right?
which is Jeff Moore from the Weather Channel on San Antonio's official weather station, News Radio 1200 WOAI. Radio advertising can connect your business with holiday shoppers wherever they go. Use iHeart Ad Builder to create an affordable custom radio ad right on your phone. Just click Washington has mandated all. And hear it on the radio. Create your customized Some, ad today at iHeartAdBuilder.com when it's time to yeah, cozy up this fall and cheer on the Dallas uh, Cowboys. Nobody has more ways Empire. to celebrate the wow. season than yeah. thanks. Why? Raise a blast of cooler nights with warming whiskeys, spiced spirits, yeah, exactly. Christmas yeah, right and there. bold mm -hmm. reds. Spex has Texas' largest selection of full-priced wines, spirits, and craft mixers. For a hearty harvest <laughs> of savings on all your game day cravings, it's Spex, official excited. partner of the Dallas Thank Cowboys. You. The fun starts here. The silver and black are back with another season of Spurs basketball. That's 41 chances to catch them live at home court with dozens of bean nights, giveaways, oh, and more. Spurs, Giving oh. every game night a reason to go. Here's a steal by Murray, and a right-hand hammer slam for Shantae. Tickets are on sale and up for grabs now. To see our full promo schedule, visit spurs.com slash promotions or check out the official Spurs app. Season presented by H-E-B. Guys, now there's no excuse. Peak performance for men has helped thousands of men overcome erectile dysfunction. The question is, what are you waiting for? Live the life you want today with a free consultation. No medication, no pumps, no needles, no pain, no surgery, and absolutely no downtime. Just non-invasive acoustic wave therapy that will have you back to your natural form. That's right. Now for a limited time, a free consultation. There is no risk. Fix it for good with one phone call. Call the San Antonio office today at 830-410-8181 or find them at peakperformanceformen.com. Why wait? Enjoy your life to the fullest. Peak can make the difference. Call 830-410-8181 and get your free consultation now. That's 830-410-8181. and viruses. When your nose gets clogged, it's less effective and germs multiply. Eventually, your immune system can get overwhelmed and you get sick. Nasal irrigation is an effective, all-natural way to clean your nose. It's not a drug. It's more like plumbing. Saline goes in one nostril, around the back of the nose, and out the other nostril, flushing out mucus and germs. I'm Martin Hope, and I invented Navage to make cleaning your nose easy. It's the world's only nose cleaner with powered suction. Navage pulls out the bad stuff so you can breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and feel healthier. At Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Target, Bed Bath, and Walmart. Or go to Navage.com for a free gift with purchase. Over 2 million sold. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Clean nose, healthy life. Don't believe me, believe so the Better fancy. Business Bureau. Five stars for giving me the Vin.com. The rest of them are one star. America's best car buyer, give me the Vin.com. Oh, yeah. Lose up to 20 pounds or more per month with RN3. Only available from Red Mountain Weight Loss. I need local news yeah. for... I mean, that, that's real. How many? How many? 38? What about the BBB? Uh, Doesn't have a star rating, does it? Yeah, I think you're right. On the other side. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show, and we are glad to be with you this Saturday. And we're taking your calls live at 737 1200. You can give us a call at 210 737 1200, and we'd be glad to answer your questions on remodeling. Today we are talking about the air conditioning situations that we encounter in remodeling and how there are some really good solutions to consider for your remodeling project. Even if you're doing a remodeling project and you didn't think AC was even going to be involved, it might be worth considering at the time we're there. So we'll talk about that. Uh, I want to mention my sponsor, with, who's been a great guy to deal with, and that is 
Joe Caccino at BioGreen, and my yard is just filling in all the spots. First of all, it started growing and turned green again. Uh, I was getting too much shade and not enough nutrients, and he helped me with all of that. And uh, you can have the great results that I've had, a beautiful lawn that I get compliments on again, and it really hurt me during those years when I, it didn't look, <laughs> it just didn't look good no matter what I tried. It really hurt you. It did, because <laughs> I had had a beautiful lawn before, and it's amazing how sometimes you just need professional help. Yeah. Kind of like when you need remodeling. <laughs> so I had to remodel my yard, and uh, Joe helped me do that at biogreensa.com, or you can call him at 210-421-9522, 421-9522. BioGreenSA.com. And uh, let's go ahead and take our caller. Uh, the next caller we got was Mark. If you're there, we're ready to talk to you, Mark. Yeah, hi, uh, this is Mark. Can you hear me okay? Sure can. Um, so, my question was um, uh, or just want to give some information on incorporation of battery backup, home battery backup systems like the Tesla Powerwall into new construction. And specifically, like, are there any, uh, how familiar are builders with that, uh, with doing those kinds of things? Is there any, do I need to look for specific, um, you know, uh, electricians or builders that can do those kinds of things? Yeah, that is, that is just now kind of coming on in our area. And are you going to be building in the San Antonio and surrounding area? It would be. Yeah, probably not in San Antonio proper, but more out in the Bernie area, kind of the more rural areas. Right. So, yeah, when you're ready, I mean, there are there are teams. I was just in a meeting on, uh, by the way, this is a great question. I was just in a meeting Thursday with a representative of a company um, that's, I think it's Green Marbles, uh, who actually helps to integrate all types of um, systems and the integration of all of your your charging systems, your security systems, and um, you know your garage doors, everything, all your systems can be integrated into one system. And I think that's the way the technology that you really prefer to go. This is the only company that I've ever seen that does it all. And we talked briefly about the uh, the battery packs, the Tesla packs, and so forth. And so there are builders now, and, you know, we could be one of those who's who's going to be able to, to, to get the, the right people to do that for us. And you want a builder that, that is, uh, first of all, comfortable doing that, wants to do it. Typically, you're going to be on your custom side of builders, uh, more of the higher customs, the ones who really know how to integrate things. And uh, so, you know, when you're ready, there's probably going to be even more builders that are ready to do that. But it's coming on, it's coming on every day it grows. So I think by the time you pull the trigger, assuming you're going to do it, and you know, even in a year from now, you're probably going to have more than you do today. And if you need recommendations at that point, uh, Mark, uh, be be sure and give me a call. You know, our our company builds custom homes as well as remodeling, and uh, and so when you're ready, you know, we'll talk to you about your plans and get your basic cost outlined on your home, get all those other details worked out as well as getting a, a quote for just the system you know a lot of people are you know going to need two two electric cars by then so you're going to need two systems and so sometimes people are going to even need three so you definitely want to have that well thought out and, and just make sure that you're getting the latest technology uh, when you pull the trigger on it yeah very good thank you very much thank you for calling the show and, and that is an ever-evolving subject, you know, the, the battery packs, the solar uh, systems that are, that are changing. And, and we're, we're going to be talking more about solar, uh, particularly uh, backup systems, battery-powered and generator systems in an upcoming show. Because I'm actually doing something in my home that we're going to be talking about real soon. And it's, it's, it's got multiple levels you can go with these products. But it ties into what we're talking about because you want to be able to have AC when your power goes out. Yes, thank you. So let's talk about that real quick. Yeah. One of the most popular solutions for air conditioning is a mini split. Mm -hmm. And many, many more people are hearing about mini split. They're also referred to as ductless systems. And uh, this, this is a really good solution for 
for not only for room additions, but other situations in your home. So you're building a room addition or making an attic conversion, a garage conversion, a patio conversion, and you may be one of those clients that air conditioner has a little trouble keeping up in the hottest days. It does pretty well the rest. And in those situations, we don't recommend adding more ducts onto that system. But the, the, the perfect solution is a mini split, putting that, that uh, ductless system on a wall in the room. It will cool that room and no longer require the, the air conditioner to cool that room. You can even probably change those ducts around in some situations uh, if it's a room that had a duct. Now, most of the time, the rooms we're talking about don't have any ducts. So they don't need to have any connection to the other air conditioning system. Uh, when that door is open though, it will help the rest of the house be maybe even a little cooler. So there could be some residual bleeding off and keeping that, that, that cooler. For example, if your garage is not cooled and then you cool it, the house has, has less walls that it's trying to radiate heat through from the garage. If your attic is not closed in and it doesn't have air conditioning obviously, well, there's heat trying to come in through that room. Now you air condition in this new room with a mini split, it actually makes it less load for your air conditioner, which may have been stretching it a little thin. So um, that's the one way you can solve two problems at one. Get that mini split in there, and then it helps the rest of the system do a better job. Now, Morgan was alluding to the fact that I wanted a mini split in my house. I have a fully air conditioned home, two story. We even have two systems one upstairs, one downstairs, and that helps control those two levels at their own temperature. I highly recommend that you have two systems eventually. If you're about to replace your system in a two-story home, make sure that you get two new systems. Do not go back with one. It'll save you a lot of money and increase your comfort. But a mini split is a good alternative for that one room of the house. Let me tell you what, what we have. We have a room of the house and the downstairs, the only room that anybody sleeps in is one room. And that's the room that we sleep in so we like it cold at night. In fact, we like it 65 degrees. And it's very comfortable at night, but I don't like being in the house, the rest of the house at 65 degrees. If I want to get out of that bedroom, I want it to be, you know, 75 degrees somewhere else. And with different work schedules and sleep schedules, typically one person is awake a lot Earlier. Yeah, I get up at 5.30 in the morning. I want to be in my office by 6 in my and home office. Freezing. And not freezing and having to put a sweater on in the middle of the summer. <laughs> and it's not, you know, it can be 80 degrees outside or 90 and I've got an air conditioner that's freezing me. <laughs> and so it was sucks. frustrating. So we <laughs> solved that by putting in a mini split in the bedroom. And what's great too is the other day is about three months ago, maybe three and a half, the, air, the power went out. Yeah, summer storm summer storm or whatever it was and it just it just cut out so all, all of our electricity all night and we slept from like 12 till 6 in the morning with no air conditioning it was hot so you didn't sleep so we didn't sleep good at mm -hmm. all and so with a mini split if you just have a power generator small power generator you could actually power that up and um, so you know so we're going to do bedrooms and accomplish two things one is you can just directly set your air conditioner at whatever you like for normal daily operations, 76, 77, 78, whatever you're doing, and keep the house that temperature all the time. And this, when you go to bed, you set your mini split. And so we're putting them in the other two bedrooms that, that, are, that occasionally get used and one gets used a lot in the upstairs. That's our next project. And so these mini splits are installed for as little as you know $3,000, $2,800. If you're doing it as part of a remodeling project, you can get it down to that low. So you'll probably spend 4,000 for a unit like that if you're not doing it as a remodeling project. And some people will charge you 5,000 to install them. Uh, that's, that's overpriced, but that's what you're gonna end up looking at. So air conditioning and remodeling can have many residual effects. And if you need a, a mini split done and you just wanna do that, we can certainly make recommendations for you on that also. But that's a money saver. Our bill went down $100 because of just one bedroom having this. <laughs> now, when we do the upstairs and we separate that, that air conditioning system from the, 
from the mini split and from the bedroom, it's going to go down another hundred dollars. I guarantee it. And so that is that is a real savings. I mean, you think about what you're saving in those hot months. You know, maybe you're averaging for the whole year fifty dollars a month times two for me would be a hundred times 12, that's $1,200 a year that we can save on energy right away and be more comfortable. Mm -hmm. So air conditioning and remodeling is definitely something to think about. Whether you're remodeling now or in the future, uh, you definitely want to think about getting that as done as part of your system. We'll talk just a little bit about the, the separate systems when we come back, but before we do, I want to mention my sponsor at Expel. They've done a wonderful job on our automotive, three vehicles, and they do it on your home. So talk to Eric about getting your windows uh, filmed. Now they don't mean they have to be darker. You can you can keep the heat in, out I should say, and keep the UV light out without darkening that room. And that's what's incredible about modern films. If you're having energy loss in your windows, try the film. The film might be all you need if it's sun that's coming in. If it's not so much in the winter, probably in many of your windows you don't really care. It's, it's you know you, you know. A little cold and gonna kill us but the heat and you know that heat is coming in primarily through that glass that the Sun is shining on so call Eric at 430-7712 and they can even show you their burglary resistant films which make it difficult to break a window at all and so call them at 430-7712 or look them up at expel.com and we'll be right back to the K and Builders remodeling and design show listen to the happy handyman So we'll be off next week. We gotta tell everybody. <laughs> yeah. Good if we keep them every time we go, we do two. How long does college football last? I think it goes through all the way up to December, I think. Okay. I think it stops about a month before the NFL. Oh, okay, and then they go into playoffs or yeah, I think the, the playoffs, bowl games or something I think like that. In, see, like, see, like Cowboys, where we at? For the most? No. NFL starts playoffs in the end of December, starting in January, I think. Yeah, I can't remember how many games they play. I think it's less than the NFL. Well, they start earlier. Yeah, but they're only one game ahead. The Roadrunners are 7-0, and oh, and what are we, we played? Oh, what, really? What are we played? 4-1? and one. Mm -hmm. This weekend will be 5-1. and one. So that's three games, yeah, three games ahead of us. Yeah. Because, no, two. two. We'll, be, we'll be playing our sixth game this weekend in the NFL. Oh, yeah. And they're playing their eighth mm -hmm. this weekend. So they're two games ahead, and I think they have a shorter season. I don't think they play 16 games. I don't think they do either. <laughs> That's why I think it comes out short. I think they end fun. by Christmas break, right? I think so. Because they don't have playoffs. Yeah, they have bowl games. Yeah, you qualify right? or you don't. Yeah, it's just the game. That's what makes the NFL last much longer. Yeah, a full month longer, and then it's and more fun because they can't play it all everyone. So how do you know who wins? Yeah, that's why it's, it's it's very very confusing. Yeah, I never nobody likes the bowl system. Yeah, they don't have an accurate way of. I'm like, wouldn't you like to know which of your team won that year? Like, how competitive would that be? It's all about rankings. Yeah. And they don't view that as being as accurate as no, playing, playing against proving it. Prove it to me. Yeah. Okay, let number one play number two. Let's mm -hmm. see if see who's really number one. There's been many times that number four, number five, number eight is considered better by many people than the number one. That's one of the things that I don't like about college football. Mm -hmm. 
the why I don't get crazy about it. But there is the D bow. One bowl? There is like considered D bow that you want to get to. Oh. And they're all trying to get there? Yeah, but it's all about ranking. Oh. They don't play each other to get there, so. Should be just like college when you have the playoffs, just like college basketball has. Oh, they do? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they, they have a true winner. Well, then, why can't that? Doesn't make any sense. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we are glad to take your calls at 737-1200 or 1-800-383-WOAI. <laughs> Very good. I hadn't said that number in a long time. No. So most of y'all are just calling on 2107, I mean, 737-WOAI, uh, wow. right? Yes. <laughs> Seven three seven twelve hundred. <laughs> You're embarrassing our board off. <laughs> He's embarrassed for me. Yeah. You know it is. You've got me mixed up when you drew out that next one. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> okay. threw you off your rhythm. Three eight three. Yeah, it's three eight three W O I one eight hundred three eight three W I or seven three seven twelve hundred. Uh -huh. The local number two one zero seven three seven twelve hundred. Somebody called, so it worked. If you say it fifteen <laughs> times, somebody might call. So, so yeah, we're talking about air conditioning and remodeling. I just want to mention before we get our call here that it is a great time to do add ducts, make your system work better. It really does in many cases if it's oversized, as we heard. Some examples of, of uh, systems being oversized. Mm -hmm. And as one of them called in, they, uh, they upsized it, but they didn't change the ducts. That's not a good thing. That's why it's probably whistling and howling and blowing your hat off, as he said. <laughs> And that's not good. So you sometimes can't just do these simple fixes. But we can always build a room on if it's too big. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes what you need to do is, is look at it during the remodeling, is take care of all these little issues with your air conditioning. It might mean that you're removing sheetrock. It might mean that you need to go ahead and change some of those ducts. Maybe add a bigger return in. Now these typically involve a little bit of carpentry work and sheetrock repair and so forth. Especially if you've got drains that need to be repaired or they're the pans and you need it, need it to go into a sink rather than outside or dripping where you don't like it. Mm -hmm. um, those things can be fixed in remodeling as well. But one of the things we, we try to get people to do is, I mean we don't try to get them to do it, it might be a good suggestion that you do it, is if you have a two story home and you need two systems and you're dealing with one, it's hot upstairs and if we get it cool upstairs, it's too cold downstairs. Well now's the time to change that because you have to get into the plenum system and you have to reduct things and you can do that in a remodeling project for a lot less money than you can if you just hired someone to come in and fix your system. So. Now, that is why we talk about remodeling the time is a good time to take care of your AC needs. And another thing you can do is do what's called zoning. I've done that on some of my remodeling projects where one system works, but again, you got the upper and lower. So you have it, you put a zoning where you, it, it only cools down one area um, first and it stops that area when it's done and it puts more air, air into the other area. So if you'd like to know more about any of those solutions, give us a call at 680-5626. 680-KM-CO, that number I can remember. <laughs> and you can look us up at kmbuilders.com because at KM Builders we have designed the experience. So you can experience the design. Have a great day.
forgot to tell him we were off next week.